Hi everyone, I recently got a new printer and this is the Epson L121 series. This printer is not heavy which I love and there's also a styrofoam included but I already removed it for the sake of this vlog because I've been struggling to remove it at first. But anyway, these are the inclusions and I'll show you them one by one later. First, it comes with the set of the Epson 664 Dying Crefeel in yellow, magenta, black, and cyan. We have this USB cable to connect it from PC to printer. Paper support extension, it comes with the wider one under it. And this plug to power up your printer as well as this L120 software disk. Use this if you have a CD room. And lastly, of course, the printer itself. I started first by reading the manual and I swear it's very short and easy to understand. First step is to remove all of the tapes and it comes with this blue color. Second step is to put the paper support. Third step is to make sure to fill the ink tank with their desired colors and don't worry because it's indicated on both tank and container. So just a little story, so I bought this printer around 1pm after my morning class and I finished setting this up by 3pm which is pretty long but I really have to because our finals will be a day after I bought this and I have to print all of my reviewers and I think it's worth it because um, some of my exams went well. I'm not too sure of the other subjects, but let's manifest and wish me luck on my grade this finals. So by the way, I'm already in senior high school grade 11, and of course you guys are having your exams too, so I wish you well on that. Going back to our tutorial so you can force the ink to come out by squeezing the bottle in the middle. We are getting closer to finish this, so for the fourth step, insert the cable and plug it. So you have to long press this green button and then you'll hear this sound. You also have to press this button with the red light to start calibration and you can see that the ink hose starts to vacuum the ink from the tank. So this is very important, you have to leave it for 20 to 30 minutes to calibrate. Now search for epson.com slash support or epson driver installer. Next is to search for your printer model then it will direct you to this one.
We are finally done setting this up, so now let's check the print quality.